Gonna review uh, my new safari, one of my new safaris, but um, well, I mean, I guess, I guess this one is kind of new, but uh, it, it wasn't really planned on reviewing today. Uh, it's mostly because of what something that happened about a day or two ago, uh, back on uh, Bionicle Source's channel. Nothing, nothing bad, to, nothing bad about the video he posted, but um, it was just uh, I feel like maybe I should do this for a bit of a memorial towards him. Uh, today I'm reviewing the uh, 2017 Safari LTD um, Blue Diplodocus. Oh my god, I can barely get him on the camera. The whole thing on the camera. Anyway, I'll just get the front view right here. Now, as you can see, this is a pretty big figure. Um, the face is well is well done, though, even for uh, especially if it's just like kind of not really that detailed like how other figures are like my Schleich Apatosaur which I'll get into that in a bit but I definitely love like the blue coloring on here uh yeah there is some damage marking on here I it happened to um what's it called uh what's it called my one of some of my other dinosaurs so that's why it kind of looks like it's in bad condition but it's it's new so that's why it looks that way uh I honestly got this thing for arousing uh, 12 bucks at the Natural History Museum. Um, I'm not gonna talk about it in this video, I'll probably talk about it in my next one, but still. I just love this figure right here. It's like, the way of it is big. The one nitpick I do have about it is just how kind of thin it looks over here, and oh my god, something is ringing, I'll be right back. Sorry for my quick break, uh, I had my phone alarm ringing. Uh, anyway, um, now looking at this figure, I just love the posture though. It this is how you pretty much describe a, a, a Diplodocus, especially how this is pretty much looks exactly like the one from um, uh, Walking with Dinosaurs. <coughs> now let's get on to like the design. I will admit the one th another thing about this thing is the scaling. It's not not horrible, but it's not the best either. Like, I don't know what it is, like, it kind of looks too smooth, and there's a bit of detail, but it's really hard to see. But the f feet are, are beautiful, though, like, the, um, I just love how it just, like, woo, makes it look like it's walking, especially that little toe spike you have right there, which is very well detailing, and, like, the ones you have in the back right here. And, like, I just especially love the tail, like, the whip-like tail it has on here, like, in the position. I would be careful because this is kind of soft plastic, so it will most likely break off if you play with it too much. But um, yeah, I mean, besides that, I mean that's that's the plot I guess for you. So um, anyway, uh, yeah, let me see if I can get a good size comparison with this right now. Okay, so I'm gonna compare this with my like Apatosaur, my big boy. Oh my god, I can I can barely get that guy in, on camera. And, uh, I'm also gonna, uh, put in my, um, uh, what's called Razor right here. Uh, kind of a bad comparison, I'll put him right back here, maybe. There you go. And, uh, and I'll put in my Tyrannosaur also. If I can fit him in right here. Well, let me see right here, uh, uh, hang on, uh, dang it. There we go, that looks, that looks fine to me. Yeah. I mean, it's small, it's bigger than Razor, but it's definitely smaller than the Schleich Apatosaur and the Schleich uh, Tyrannosaur. But, besides that, it's definitely still beautiful. I mean, I forget if Apatosaur is bigger than Diplodocus. I, I forgot if that's accurate or not, but whatever. They're different companies, so I, I wouldn't expect them being different. I would expect them being different sizes and whatnot. But yeah, again, uh, another detail I actually love is the spikes, or the spinal, or whatever they're called. It just really, this is what really reminds me of the Diplodocus from that show, just cause like, I love how the spikes look on them. I'm not sure if that's accurate, but, I mean, I mean, if they show on Walking Dinosaurs, then it's most likely accurate. Then again, that that is a lot of inaccuracies in that show, but, um, anywho, so, yeah, guys little memorial for this guy right here. Poor uh, guy had to get killed by off uh, three Carcarnon source. Uh, well, well, I mean, there's nothing really else to say besides about this guy. Except, like, 
if, if there was a, one more thing, actually, I would probably change this coloring of the skin. It's not bad. It's not horrible. I just wish it was a different color. Like, like maybe blue and then putting, like, brown spots instead of white spots. Or maybe, like, a, like a darker blue and then just... Or, like, a really dark blue and having, like, black spots on it or whatever. But, yeah, guys, so that's, uh... That's gonna wrap up this video. Uh, if you have anything to say, let me know in the comments below. Uh, give a thumbs up on that, uh... Ugh. Screw that up. Uh, give a thumbs up on uh, my video. Uh, link it to everyone else, and, um... Yeah, and, uh, make sure you, uh, keep the comments, uh, below two comments. I, cause, uh, that's the last thing I need is spamming. Uh, which, by the way, I probably should mention, uh, keep my, uh, keep the comments on topic, really. I really don't want any, like, different, uh, situations happening, because I, it's different. That's, that's not what I do on this channel. I just follow what's on the, the topic of my channel, which is dinosaur reviews and stuff. Uh, yeah. Alright, so, guys, uh, that's gonna wrap up this video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it, and, uh, let me know how what you think of this. Uh, again, I'm sorry about the horrible condition, but um, what can I do? All right, guys. So I will see you guys. Uh, oh yeah, one more, one more thing. My birthday is actually coming up in like two weeks, so um, I'm gonna think about something. What, what's something special to do? And I'll let you know, guys know then. But anyway, since that's the last thing. All right. Well, I will see you guys later. Peace out, Dino Tube community.